Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Three statements about the binding energy are provided. Number one, the binding energy is the energy required to completely separate the nucleons. Point number two, the binding energy is equivalent in units of energy to the mass defect when the nucleus is formed from its nucleons. The binding energy is energy released when the nucleus is formed. Well, um, okay, let us first try to understand what is binding energy. So what is happening is uh, the basic definition of binding energy is let us say these are all four nucleons like two are proton and two are neutrons let us say. So they are at infinite distance from each other. They do not interact with each other. So they have to come together to create a nucleus. So when they come together and a nucleus is created and the nucleus is created some mass have to be given up by these nucleons obviously they have to uh, cover up the uh, individual repulsion which is taking place between two protons they have to uh, cover up that uh, repulsive forces so some energy has to be created so what happens is when they come together they lose some mass so that delta m is called mass defect and a nucleus is created so the first thing to be noted here is that the nucleus is having overall lesser mass and these uh, nucleons separately they have more mass this mass defect is now converted into energy the formula given by einstein so this energy this mass is converted into energy and this is known as the binding energy so when a nucleus is created clearly the energy will be released so energy is released here okay so you can say energy is given up released why released because mass has vanished now these are having more mass this is having lesser mass so where is that mass going mass is converted into energy this is the part number one so point number three is absolutely correct binding energy is energy released when a nucleus is formed from its nucleons there is no doubt about it and point number two the binding energy is equivalent to the mass defect even that is correct binding energy is equal to delta mc square so even this is not uh, uh, this is not a problem when a nucleus is formed from its nucleons so this is also correct so two is correct and three is correct absolutely let us go for point number one the binding energy is the energy required to completely separate the nucleons now you want to break up the nucleus now the same amount of energy has to be given back like you give that energy back so all these nucleons they will separate themselves okay and the energy like the it, the mass was converted into energy so this energy is now again going to create mass for all of the nucleons and the same amount of mass will be given back to the nucleons and they would be returned back into the different particles is it clear like this so this nucleus is now broken down so energy has to be given to it so even the point number one is correct it is just the reverse of that you can just call it exoergic exoergic nuclear reactions are the reactions in which energy is released endoergic are the nuclear reactions in which energy is given so they are basically reverse of each other nothing more isn't it endoergic and exoergic At this point, the students, those who have chemistry as a subject, please try to understand endothermic and exothermic, they are chemical reactions. When you talk about the nuclear reactions, we do not use those terms. We use exoergic and endoergic. Okay, dear students, so this is Professor Vaughan. Thanks for watching the video. Please join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions now and if you want to access the online course. Okay, dear students, all the best.